I'm Mark Turner, Institute Professor. And I'm Todd Oakley, Associate Professor and Chair of Cognitive Science at Case Western Reserve University. My project was to develop a team-taught course with my colleague in Denmark, Anas Holgaard, at the University of Southern Denmark, uh, to team teach a course in discourse and cognition. We also had our students engage in group projects uh, where they used the mobile video station at their leisure to create and conduct research projects in language and cognition. Uh, the course really grew organically and became uh, focusing on political advertising and discourse in Europe and in America, but that's when the, the course really got rolling and the students really got to uh, examine the nuances both of the difference of language but also of things like uh, gesture and the way people maintain distance from one another and all of these other paralinguistic or extra parts of communication that get folded into language and it was really eye-opening for all of us in that experience. It began simply as getting graduate students and undergraduate students to hook up with each other because they're taking a cognate course uh, and then developed into course planning and we're going from there to actual program planning. The worldwide learning environment leads to collaborations that are unscripted across all different levels. So for instance, we meant to put together the undergraduates, but in fact this put us together. Professor Oakley was with me for almost all of the undergraduate engagements and then when he ran his course jointly with Odense, Denmark, I taught in the course, talked to the students there. This is always seems to be the case. The video conference station is a kind of magnet that pulls in people locally to collaborate and pulls in people internationally. And this lets us put not only Cleveland in touch with undergraduate students internationally, but other domestic universities at the same time. This, we think, is the next step that McGregor funds for a worldwide learning environment will, will help precipitate. In a time when uh, budgets are strapped, when programs cannot grow by themselves, uh, the possibility of actually using this new technology to grow programs, to pool resources, and to uh, create something that couldn't exist before, uh, this is the next step for higher education, and particularly higher education in the cognitive sciences.